Hey historians, it's Tuesday, February 9th, and um, I'm gonna tell you a story today. This is actually a story I paste posted on uh, the co-op Facebook page, but I know not all of you are on Facebook, not all of you read Facebook. So um, I just wanted you to tell, tell you this story about this amazing Civil War hero. Um, so this is about the life of Union hero Mary Elizabeth Bowser, who was like James Bond level of cool. Okay, so um, she was born a slave in Richmond, uh, Richmond, Virginia in 1839. Um, we don't really know anything about her parents or her childhood, basically because she was born a slave in Richmond in 1839 and there weren't really records kept for that at that time. Um, we do know that her plantation owner's name was John Van Loo. Um, we also know that he was not a good man. Okay, he was bad. All right, um, but... John Van Loo dies in 1843. So his wife, Eliza, um, and his daughter, Elizabeth Van Loo, um, decide that they're gonna be decent human beings and they are gonna free all their slaves. Now, many of their slaves didn't want to leave the plantation because, you know, what are they gonna do? Get a job at Chick-fil-A? No, this is pre-Civil War <laughs> Virginia. So um, they, said that if they wanted to stay, they could be paid wages for their work. So Mary Elizabeth was one of those who chose to do that. And, um, you know, either because she was promised pay or, you know, because she was five years old and her mom was staying. So, yeah. Right. All right. So either way, in 1855, it was recognized that Mary was very bright. And so she was sent to school. She was sent to a Quaker school for Negroes in Philadelphia. Um, when she graduated in 1860, Mary moves back to Richmond. Um, she meets a free black man named Wilson Bowser. And because of racism, we don't know much about their courtship, their history, their family, none of that. But um, it must have been pretty great courtship because they are married the next spring. And that was just four days before the beginning of the Civil War. So... Mary is still working for Elizabeth Van Loo, and one day Elizabeth says to her, Look, I know that the Civil War just started, and I'm an unmarried, land-owning Southern woman, and it's 1861, so probably no one would expect me to be a participant, um, but I want to tell you that, in fact, I'm the leader of an elaborate Union spy ring that has already infiltrated the Confederate capital in Richmond, and I want you to be on my spy squad. <laughs> Mary's like, well, let me see. Uh, yeah, I'm in. <laughs> Absolutely. So Mary heads to the Confederate White House, that was what it was called, to pose as a servant. Now these Confederates, um, oops, sorry, lost my place. Oh, I hate it when that happens. What happens when you're reading on the... Okay, so she heads to the Confederate White House to pose as a servant. And again, my iPad is giving me a hard time here. Get there. Okay, and these Confederates, they would come and go and be like, it's a good thing there's no one here but these Negroes. Now we can talk in depth about our super secret war plans. And there's no way we're gonna lose. So Mary would come back and tell everything she had heard, and we're talking about troop movements and strategies and all of that. And they also thought she couldn't read, so they would leave all of their plans lying around. She could memorize them and bring them back. Um, and, she, you know, she was just... Uh, uh, such a help to the Union cause, but after doing this for four years, the Confederates realized they had a leak, and they figured out that it was Mary. And realizing she's been discovered, Mary makes a great escape from the Confederate White House that actually included her, her literally trying to burn that place to the ground. Um, you know, she's like an action hero. So when the Civil War ended, um, many records that detailed the Union spy efforts were intentionally burned so that no Confederates who might have a grudge could find them and retaliate, retaliate against the spies. Um, so unfortunately, a lot of the details, most of the details of Mary's post-war life are largely unknown. But we do know that in 1995, the United States Army finally gave Mary, Mary Elizabeth Bowser her credit 
by inducting her in to the U.S. Army Intelligence Hall of Fame, where they, you know, honor the spies that help, the, help America win wars. And we also know that the name that she posed under, are you ready for it, was Bond. Ellen Bond. Um, of course it was. She was just that fantastic. So Mary Elizabeth Bowser didn't just fight for the Union. Under the threat of certain death, she worked to dismantle the Confederacy from inside their very home. And so this February 2021, we are remembering Mary Elizabeth Bauer, a, an amazing spy for the Union Army who helped the Union win the war. All right, that's it for now. Bye for now.